This question comes from a viewer who asks a beautifully simple, yet profoundly chaotic question. What would happen if all mirrors and reflective surfaces suddenly had a one-second delay? The answer? You'd spend the first day thinking you're going crazy, the second day laughing about it, and the rest of your life desperately trying to avoid your own reflection. Let's begin where most days do. The bathroom mirror. The first time it happens, you won't even notice. You lean in, you blink, and a second later, your reflection blinks back. Weird, you might think. A trick of the light. But then, you raise your toothbrush. You move it towards your mouth. But in the mirror, your arm is just beginning its journey. Instinctively, you try to correct for the lag you're seeing. The result? Instead of brushing your teeth, you end up applying a perfect smear of mint-flavored toothpaste directly onto your nose. Congratulations, you've just failed the first challenge of this new, awkward reality. The morning routine quickly descends into low-stakes slapstick comedy. Trying to shave becomes an act of faith, as you have to slash with a razor and trust that a second ago, that patch of skin was exactly where it needed to be. Spoiler alert, it wasn't. This single change would make a full beard the height of male fashion, purely for safety reasons. For those who wear makeup, attempting to draw a perfectly symmetrical eyeliner wing would be like trying to land a plane in a hurricane while blindfolded. Faces would become unintentional modern art canvases, a testament to humanity's brave, but failed, attempts at personal grooming. But the real fun starts when this problem leaves the house. You get into your car. Out of habit, you glance at your rearview mirror. You see the road behind you, but it's the road from one second ago. You decide to change lanes. You look, see an empty space, and begin to merge. Unfortunately, in the real world, that space was just filled by a very large, very real truck that hadn't appeared in your delayed reflection yet. The world's insurance premiums would skyrocket overnight. Driving would become less of a skill and more of a high-speed guessing game. Society itself would start to crumble in the most comical ways. Imagine a dance studio. An entire class of aspiring dancers faces a giant mirror, trying to follow their instructor. The instructor does a step, and one second later, the entire class awkwardly performs the previous step, creating a permanent, rippling wave of uncoordinated movement. A trip to the barber would be terrifying. Your hairdresser, who relies on a mirror to see the back of your head, would now be trimming the hair that was there a second ago, leading to the most disastrously uneven haircuts in human history. Then, you'd have to ask the bigger question, what exactly counts as a reflective surface? This is where the world truly starts to unravel. Let's talk about technology. Most modern cinema projectors use something called a digital micromirror device, a chip covered in millions of tiny, tilting mirrors that reflect light to create an image. With a one-second delay, Every single one of those micromirrors would be acting on old information. Going to the movies would mean watching a blurry, incomprehensible mess, as the projector desperately tries to assemble a picture from a stream of out-of-sync reflections. The consequences for science would be even more profound. Great telescopes like the Hubble or James Webb rely on massive, perfectly curved mirrors to capture light from distant galaxies. A one-second delay on these instruments would be a catastrophic data error rendering decades of astronomical research obsolete. We'd be trying to map the universe using a fundamentally broken tool. Even the internet would suffer. The fiber optic cables that form the backbone of our digital world work by bouncing pulses of light off the reflective inner walls of the cable. That one second delay, compounded over thousands of kilometers, would cripple global communications. But what if we took our core idea and, as we so often do, pushed the dial? What if we could increase the delay? At a 10-second delay, mirrors become conversation partners with your recent past. You could look into the mirror, ask, did I leave the oven on? Walk away, and 10 seconds later, your reflection would answer you. It's still you, but the experience would be profoundly unnerving. ATA one-minute delay, mirrors cease to be reflections and become short-term security cameras. You lose your keys. You can now walk back into the living room, Look in the mirror and watch yourself from 60 seconds ago absent-mindedly put them in the fruit bowl. It's convenient, but also a little creepy. ATA one-hour delay. 
the world turns into a paranoid spy thriller. Mirrors are no longer a tool for you, but for everyone else. Someone can walk into your office, leave, and you can come back an hour later to see who was there by looking in a well-placed mirror. Trust would evaporate. People would start covering mirrors not for vanity, but for privacy. And finally, at a one-day delay, mirrors become a tool of existential horror. You look in the mirror in the morning and see not yourself, but a ghost. You see yesterday's you, sipping coffee, completely unaware of your presence. You see a perfect recording of a person that no longer exists in that moment. The reflection is no longer you in any meaningful way. It's just a memory played back on a piece of glass. This would break the human mind. Ultimately, a world with delayed reflections is a world constantly out of sync with itself. It's a world where you can never trust what you see, forcing us to rely on our other senses. The simple act of looking at oneself would become a bizarre journey into the immediate past, a constant reminder that reality and our perception of it are two very different things. The most sought-after luxury would no longer be a fancy car or a big house, but a simple, unpolished wooden room with absolutely nothing on the walls.